Hello everyone, welcome back to Webtoon Rant. Today I have I Became the Chef of the Dragon King. Let's get straight into the review. So, Shim Tung is a girl from ancient Korea and with a very, very kind heart. And she sells herself for 300 bags of rice for her father's survival, as you can see in this scene. And she offers herself as tribute into the sea and she throws herself into the ocean and sacrifices herself for her father. And essentially, the mortals believe that there is a dragon king, or a yong, like a Korean traditional dragon, living underneath this particular sea, and that is the king of all dragons. And they believe that if you sacrifice a girl to them, the sea god, or the dragon king, will be happy with them. And honestly, I, I think that's pretty bullshit, but she gets thrown in there. However, instead of becoming sacrificed to the Dragon King of the Korean world, uh, she gets isekai <laughs> Yes, she gets isekai into a fancy world, into a dragon's lair. <laughs> and there, she strikes a deal with the dragon that lives there, Belkis. She says that she is, her specialty is the taste of the ham. She's really good at cooking, <laughs> especially Korean traditional dishes. And she makes the deal with the dragon, hey, please don't kill me. I'll cook for you. <laughs> I know, I know, that's the entire concept. The entire story is about this girl making traditional Korean dishes, which eventually lead up to a lovely romance story between her and the dragon, who has a human form, by the way. It, it's not just this guy just isn't just, you know, is, isn't just like this big blue dragon all the time. He turns into a Hamzen guy, this, this guy. And it's... <laughs> It's really funny, and I think it has. it's a very creative concept, and I think it's also just a great way to learn about Korean cuisine. Like, the all of the foods that come out, I think pretty much every single traditional Korean meal ever comes out in this series. It's really, really funny, and honestly, I, I genuinely remember so many times where I've read about this particular Korean dish that I haven't had in a while within this particular webtoon, and was immediately inspired to get a bit of that, you know, go out, grab something to eat, uh, get some of that traditional Korean food, you know, um, and and it, it made my mouth water. It genuinely made my mouth water. So it's it's again, it's just a great way to learn about Korean cuisine if you're interested in that. And what's really comedic about this series is the length that she goes to make the Korean food, like, oh my good god. <laughs> She uses mythical ingredients and mythical super powerful beings. And what does she do with those things? She makes soup. She makes noodles. Like, <laughs> the length which she goes to to make the Korean food is where the comedy comes in. And it's honestly just really sweet. And it's just a wholesome story about this really kind hearted Korean girl getting with this dragon king. Uh, the one of the most powerful fantasy dragons ever lived. And the webtoon has just recently ended with them getting married, and I know I don't count this as a spoiler because it's kind of obvious what will happen at the end of this. But the webtoon just recently ended. It's quite wholesome. I think it's just a great way to pass time if you need to. And it's a great way, again, to learn about Korean cuisine. And it's just really sweet and really wholesome. So, I will give it a B tier. It doesn't have a lot of substance, like it doesn't have like deep themes or it didn't emotionally impact me, it doesn't have awesome plot, but I think it's quite good, so I would recommend it to y'all. And that's about it, that's Webtoon Rant, have a great day, see y'all next time.